14th of February uh, Mass 2004 If you respect the laws of God and persevere you will receive the crown of life and uh, no person uh, can say that God tempts him or her and God is not uh, the culpable of your temptations because you are a person that cannot uh, contain uh, that, that cannot um, contain himself or herself uh, you cannot hold your horse hold your your horses and uh, some people say uh, there was a guy that came to me and said oh my god uh, oh, oh father um, I don't know why God tempts me I don't know why he made me a weak so I seen fornicate and do other commit other other sins the problem with you, I told him, is that you need to be in grace. You need to keep a life of grace. There are no weak uh, people to sin. I remember that my father used to call those people slippery pe people. <laughs> They are very light for for sin. They uh, are prompt to sin. Uh, they they go with sin uh, just uh, like that. They don't uh, they don't say no. Uh, I should not sin. They just go with it. And it's like uh, people who are sinning against the the sixth uh, commandment of God. You know, thou shalt not uh, commit impure acts. They they just go like that and they commit it. It's like the seventh commandment of God: thou shalt not uh, steal. People still just like that, like if you if it was nothing. We are uh, we are all very careful with <laughs> the people who who are uh, next to us and all all over the place because people still <laughs> like it. If there is nothing wrong with that. <laughs> He's talking about George Spader, Walter Spader, and uh, lawyer Mastrini, uh, lawyer Adam, G. Adam, and the other one, Jeff, Jeff uh, that are uh, cooking up uh, fraudulent court cases to uh, illegally evict elderly disabled Christians uh, because they refuse to join the organized crime and they are paid a lot of money to lie and uh, commit perjury and uh, violate the professional codes, uh, the ethical codes that the lawyers must uh, not violate. They are paid a lot of money to violate them. People don't understand that steal is is 
uh, is a sin. And when he talks about uh, stealing, he, he means extortion also and blackmail, like George Spader, uh, his Deep State Mafia, and um, uh, lawyer Mastrini, Mastriani, uh, a, uh, lawyer Adam, and uh, the, uh, the other lawyer, Jeff, who, are, uh, who created a fraudulent court case to illegally evict elderly disabled Christian Luisa Jarson five months after she filed a court case against this lawyer's clients, uh, the landlords, who are friends with uh, Mafia Judge Spader, Walter Spader, in housing here in um, Waterbury City, Connecticut. People don't, don't understand that to steal uh, a piece of clothing, to steal uh, uh, an animal, to steal anything is is a deadly, uh, it's, it's uh, a mortal sin, it's, it's a serious sin, still is, is serious, it's a serious uh, sin. <coughs> Excuse me. Even if you steal a, a grape, a, a grape juice. I mean, uh, even if you steal a, a, an orange, uh, you cannot. You should not steal. That's a sin, and it's a, a deadly. It will kill your soul and condemn you forever. If you see a chicken that uh, is crossing uh, the limits of the land of its owner, you, you should tell them, uh, Miss, your chicken is getting out of your land. Uh, take your chicken because they can steal it. That's what people should do, but they don't do it. Nowadays, people don't think, don't think about it twice, uh, about committing sin. Hey, you, <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> stop looking at that woman the way you're looking at, at her. You're a married man, uh, and you, uh, husband, you, uh, I mean, you, uh, wife you are a married woman hey uh come back to your senses and they say the men say oh my my wife is far away and, and uh she gave me permission because she's far away. No, that's not the way the matrimony works. And it's not, it's nothing they say. Yes, it's something. <laughs> Control yourselves. Because nowadays, there are a lot of people that drag themselves on the mud, like George Spader, Walter Spader in the housing court here in Waterbury, Connecticut, and Jeff, and Adam, and Mr. Mastriani, the three lawyers that cooked up a fraudulent court case full of perjury and misleading information and lies. They didn't even notarize the lawsuit that they filed against this elderly disabled victim, Christian victim, who has two cancer operations and who cannot even walk. She has to walk on a wheelchair or in a scooter. They, they don't feel ashamed. They just drag themselves on the mud. 
Have you seen people, this is what he says, have you seen people that are like pigs? They just drag themselves and bathe themselves in their own excrements. <laughs> it, it, it drags, they, they drag themselves on the mud. <laughs> They're like pigs. You you uh, bathe the pigs, and they go back to their own uh, excrements, and drag themselves on the excrement and the mud, the mud, uh, the mud. <laughs> these uh, people and and they're like these lawyers and this judge they can steal and they don't think about it twice they just drag they just go and, and steal kill defraud do anything they want and this uh, priest is saying that people are like pigs they drag themselves on the mud and on their own excrements and they don't think about it twice to commit a sin to steal to to defraud, to lie. And there are a lot of people who defame other people and libel them, like these lawyers and this uh, George Spader. They uh, libeled Luisa Ollars and said that she lives in a in a house or in a building, regular building, with no lease, no. Um, Section 8, and she lives month to month when they know very well that she is a, ten, a Section 8 tenant that has recertified her Section 8 for the last three years and lives in a government subsidized Section 8 building because they, this judge and these lawyers are housing uh, lawyers and a uh, housing judge, and they know very well this building where she lives. So they just uh, lie, steal, defraud and do the next thing to that, to those things. This is what the, the, this priest is referring to. They don't think about leveling people, def, uh, defrauding, defaming them, you know, <laughs> and doing the next thing uh, to that. They have no shame. And the, there is a, a, a scene that says, you shall not bear false witness, like this lawyer and this judge, these mafia members. Ganging up against an elderly disabled 72 years old Christian woman who worked for her government benefits and paid into her government benefits for dozens of years of her life. And now they want to steal it and give it to a mafia member working for their mafia. And the priest is saying, if if it's not if you're not sure if you're not sure of, of what you're saying, uh, please shut up. In, in, the, in this case, the aforementioned lawyers and uh, judge, housing judge that I cited uh, on this video, they know very well that they're lying. It's not that they're not sure that they're making a mistake. They know very well that they're lying blatantly against this elderly disabled Christian Luisa Oyarsson, who lives in a Section 8 uh, government subsidized apartment. Uh, but they want to kill her, and since uh, the mafia hitman Fernando Spagnolo went to kill her uh, at her apartment twice in two failed hits, they want to uh, leave her homeless, and then he can go and kill her on the streets. Mm -hmm. Pero hoy hay personas que, que hablan y media de los... There are people who speaks uh, pe pig words about other people 
uh, and they don't care, just like Fernando Spagnolo, uh, who files false emergency certificates on people, creating uh, mental illnesses for people that he knows uh, are now there in exchange of money. Without thinking about uh, defaming people and the punitive damages that he and his uh, gang, cops gang members uh, cause on uh, people, especially college professors, Christian college professors and their Christian mothers. He's saying we should have a little bit more of uh, control over our lives. <laughs> because we are in a world that uh, <laughs> we, <laughs> we say whatever goes, goes. Nobody cares and everything is permitted. If I like to fornicate with a woman that I like, I go and fornicate. If I like to fornicate with a man that I like, I go and fornicate. Everything is permitted in this uh, world of uh, sinners. <laughs> what about uh, sin, sin and your offense to God when you sin, when you bear for false witness? when you say lie, when you fornicate, uh, when you uh, go and do things that are, are not agreeable to God. And then uh, you say, you blame God, you say, oh, uh, God made me weak. He didn't make you weak. Weak. You uh, go with, with the flow, like an animal without uh, thinking, analyzing things. <laughs> oh, and, and then you say, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know the word of God. Nobody told me. I thought it was, it was a normal thing. I thought it was not a bad thing to do. <laughs> And yes, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, it is bad. Stop fornicating. Stop bearing false witness. Stop stealing from people. Stop abusing people. Stop uh, labeling people. Stop uh, using your tongue like a snake uh, to damage and cause punitive damages to other people and defame other people. The sins uh, that we commit uh, causes our death, spiritual death and physical death. That's what the Bible says. And whatever we feel, when, whenever we think about what we want and only what we want, not what is good or what is bad or, or what is not agreeable to God, that uh, makes us, takes, takes us to sin and that um, get us to death, physical and spiritual death. And remember, uh, all, pe all the people that uh, continue to damage other people, they die faster than uh, what God planned. Do you know of people who are uh, bad, very bad people uh, that uh, God gives uh, 100 years or 90 years or something like that? No. Sins uh, cause our, causes our death, and uh, overall, the death uh, for the grace of God. There is no grace of God when we sin. How can we 
vencer las tentaciones que nos llegan todos los días con una vida de gracia? How can we defeat the temptations uh, that we get every day? Live uh, a life of grace, a life according to God's uh, laws. ¿Y cuál es la vida de gracia? Pues acercarme a comulgar. Comulgate, uh, go see um, our Lord Jesus Christ in church, go talk to him. Por lo menos los domingos, y si puedo los demás días, también los demás días. At least uh, on Sundays, uh, and if you can during the week, you can do so too. You should do so. ¿Eh? Aparte de comulgar, acercarme al Santísimo, encomendarme. Uh, you should uh, come closer to God. And be a good wife and a good husband. When you get up in the morning, you uh, talk to God and uh, make the the. Uh, cross signal uh, when you get up and when you go to bed at night you should do that you should keep a life of grace uh, agreeable to God and uh, you you have to make an effort to do that Nowadays, we people are going through life like donkeys and 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 horses, wild horse horses. Uh, with you know, we are beast like. Like crazy ships that uh like crazy sheep that just go wild in the wild <laughs> people are you just hear nowadays <laughs> they they killed one they kidnapped <laughs> they killed one they kidnapped another <laughs> it's it's crazy <laughs> And they fought together. They fought each other. They stole from another. <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> this one fornicates with the wife of somebody else. This one fornicates with the husband of somebody else. Even with the sister-in-law and with the brother-in-law. Oh my God. <laughs> what is going on in the world? What is, where is the control? You know why the, the, the world is like that? Uh, nowadays, because a lot of people don't have any control. And they don't live a, a life of grace agreeable to God. If you want to control a life of sin, and you um, you want to get away from that you have to be before the presence of God why, 
Why don't you? Why do you think people kill people and order hits on people nowadays? Uh, like nothing. Uh, they they kill people like if it's if it's killing a chicken. Nothing major. They do it because they have no pre. They they don't have a, the presence of God in their lives. Because they don't respect their their brothers and sisters in Christ. Because they don't see other people like their brothers and sisters in Christ. They just see them like trash, like George Spader and uh, Adam, uh, Jeff, and Mastriani, those three lawyers that cooked up a fraudulent case against elderly disabled Christian uh, Section 8 tenant Luisa Oyarsson to kick her out of her uh, Section 8 apartment using lies and falsification of court records and court documents. Be careful with those things. But why do you Thing this happens why do you think people do these things uh, telling you about uh, some people that say oh I don't have to confess my sins to a priest because he's a man like like me uh, and then he goes on saying during the uh, mass today's mass he goes on to say uh, well, I'm a man like somebody else, but I'm, I'm not, uh, I don't do things that many people do, many men do, uh, and I'm referring to sin. And then he goes on to explain uh, what type of things are not agreeable to God and what type of things he does not do that uh, all the men who believe that they are above uh, a God uh, do who believe that they don't have to obey the Ten Commandments and so on. So, uh, going back to this fraudulent case with these mafia members, uh, Joe, George, um, Walters, excuse me, Walter Spader, and the other three lawyers that cooked up this uh, fraudulent case against elderly disabled citizen Luisa Yarson. Uh, to kick her out of her government subsidized section and apartment after blackmailing her for years uh, and telling her that if she didn't give them give uh, their mafia members the blackmail money that she used to give them that uh, they were going to use their influence within the local housing court to kick her out by buying up verdicts. Uh, and this is the situation. So I hope and pray that these people stop their sinful ways and go back to God. Because if they don't do that, they're going to uh, regret it because they're not going to live a good life. And they are children of God. That's why we, uh, the children of God, have to pray for them because uh, God uh, gets happy when you pray for people that are going to hell uh, so you can prevent them from going to hell and make them convert with your prayers so let's continue to pray for these people and their souls because their souls are in a very ba bad ba very dark place brothers and sisters in Christ thank you